It's your favorite songs from the 80s. The Vamps, the videos, all that face paint. It's the era of the fancy new hairdo, where the boys look like the girls, and the girls look like they just might beat you up. It's the decade of the fashion faux pas. Here, who's singing a new song? Instead of playing in the US Festival to 300,000 people, we're playing to 300. And who's having second thoughts? Well, I'd probably do a lot less drugs. Fess up. It's your past, too. It's VH1's Totally Awesome, Where Are They Now? Men at work try to make a living. Now I've gone from staying in hotels to playing in hotels. Plus, coming up, Men at Work's Colin Hay figures out why he loved the 80s. Well, there was that girl in Philadelphia. <laughs> and find out where the other men have been working lately. Plus. While so many bands were brooding in black clothes and aren't I strange hairdos, men at work were the group reveling in downright goofiness. It was very much, well, here we are at a location, here's a camera, do something. So we had to come up with things to do. You know, and so we're in the desert, and uh, I can remember, uh, you know, the director of the clip saying, well, you know, what, what are you going to do? And I go, well, I don't know. Um, well, you dance or you can juggle something and you do something or something else and we just would choreograph something silly on the spot which meant that basically you know people's personalities came out in 1982 the band's business as usual spent 15 weeks at number one a first for a debut album Then the band won a Grammy for the year's best new artists. Though singer Colin Hay has a different name for it. National Academy of Recording Arts and Sciences Met at Work Best New Artist slash Kiss of Death Award 1982. <laughs> After only three albums and an equal number of years in America, the band was all but unemployed. So where have the men been working lately? In 1995, when the band was interviewed down under, the story went a little something like this. First, there's frontman Colin Hay. Well, Men at Work split up and well, finally grind to a halt in 1985. And uh, since then, I've, I don't know, done f four albums for various record companies. But it's got to be those Men at Work royalty checks that afforded Colin this down-home spread and the time to explore his inner John Travolta. Then there's family man John Reese, the shady bassist who sired himself two kids. Since Men at Work, John not only discovered a more sophisticated playing style, he also found a new place to show off his chops. We just enjoy discovering the tunes and having a bit of freedom to improvise. And so we played it in kind of environments where the people just aren't usually talking and ignoring us. Then there's drummer Jerry Spicer. After years spent spit-shining his stage presence, he brought his zany antic to the classroom. So how many people get really excited when they hear the word physics? Now, I'm involved in, in education, um, showing people how they can like use the laws of physics in management and sales and marketing, that sort of thing. He only hopes his fans will remember him the way he'd like to be remembered. And though his days of dodging panties may be gone, Jerry still has a tender spot for his past. What I'd like to be remembered for, uh, say, as a, as a drummer, is uh, that I was a musical drummer. So I played the drums as a, as a musical instrument. And it just gets better. Take the tale of guitarist Ron Streichert. First, he moved to Montana. Then he joined the local New Age church. It's the one that had those snazzy bomb shelters built for the coming apocalypse that never came. Then Ron had a plan to help jumpstart his woozy career. Well, um, I've been kind of uh, 
changing into a new style of music. Uh, I've been working on a, an album concept of uh, new age aerobic music. Um, this is the idea of a, it's, it's rhythmically timed for working out, uh, working out conditions. Perhaps most impressive, though, is the story of saxophonist Greg Ham. He was blowing for Wales' greatest natural wonder, Mr. Tom Jones. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome, welcome, welcome to the beautiful Ritz Hotel in lovely downtown St Kilda. One of the things in Men at Work that people really liked, that we were prepared to have a laugh and have people laugh along with us, and uh, it's not such a big step to go from there into uh, what we do with this show. Almost Tom Jones! But Greg had another reason for invoking the name of the ever-potent Mr. Jones. We thought we could make some money out of it. So I'm still playing, but uh, okay, instead of playing in the US Festival to 300,000 people, we're paying to 300. The women glow, the men they plunder. Can't you hear and I felt that men at work never had the opportunity. To, to evolve in a sense and it was like uh, being successful very very quickly um, was was a, a lot of pressure and you either uh, grow through it or you blow apart and I guess my regret is that the band blew apart instead of um, growing. Today Jerry Spicer just might be regretting life a little bit more. In 1998, his former bandmates, Colin Hay and Greg Hamm, released an album of Men at Work hits that they'd re-recorded. The duo also plans to tour under their old name, with the help, of course, of some new musicians. Seems some of the men might finally be back to work. I come from a land down under What beer does flow And the men they chunder Women too can't you hear thunder? You better run, you better take cover, yeah, yeah. 